Now we're going to look at using the ls command. The ls command is used to display the contents of a current directory or a directory in the file system. There are numerous switches and arguments that you can use with the ls command. We'll look at a few of the more important ones. First we'll look at using the a switch which allows us to show all hidden files in the file system. Then we'll look at ls along with the l switch which displays directory contents in long format which is useful when you want to see permissions and ownership. D allows us to see information on directories themselves, more likely the current directory you're in. H is very handy because it allows us to see things in a human readable format. Many times things are displayed in blocks. It's much easier to read the, the read the size of the file when it's displayed in megabytes and gigabytes and so forth. Capital R is for listing directories recursively. And capital S is for sorting those and capital S is for sorting the files by size. Remember, Linux is a case sensitive operating system, so it's important that you use the correct case when using arguments. If you've come from a Windows background and used the command line in the Windows operating system, you may have used the DIR command to display directories. DIR, DIR command or the DIR command is also available in most Linux distributions. The primary command that we use to list files in a directory is the ls command. When used by itself, ls just displays the name of the files or directories in your current present working directory. If I wanted to display files and directories in another directory, I could just give ls the path to that directory. In this case, etc or etsy. Here we can see the names of the directories and files contained in the etc directory. Common switch to use with the ls command is the ls space dash long. This allows us to see information about files and directories in a more detailed view. For instance, here I can see that this particular directory, here are the permissions of that directory, I can see the number of links connected to that directory, the user owner, group owner, size in blocks, add date, and of course the name of the directory. So ls-l is a common way to display files in a directory. There is an alias usually assigned to the system that will display the same information by just typing the ll command. If I say which ll, you can see that reality ll is just an alias for ls space dash l. Another thing that is new to people who are coming from the Windows world is the concept of hidden files. While Windows machines hide files also, they use the hidden attribute to accomplish this. In Linux, you hide a file by prefixing it with the dot or a period. If I want to display hidden files, I have to use the dash a option to display hidden files. So currently I'm in slash home slash student. And if I type ls-l, I can see the unhidden files and folders within there. If I type ls-l with an a, I see many more items that are hidden from view. Most of the time hidden items are there just to clear up your environment and a lot of configuration files and information for particular applications is stored in those hidden files. If you want to create a hidden file or folder you can do so by prefixing it with the dot. As you can see it does not show up in my view but if I type a and dot file with the wildcard of an asterisk which will show me anything that begins with dot file 
I see the hidden file. If you want to see information about your current directory, you can type ls-l with the D option. That provides me information about the directory I'm currently in. Notice the dot. The dot always represents your current directory. As we saw previously, by default, sizes with the ls command are displayed in a block size. Sometimes that isn't easy to read, and it's very convenient to switch it to human readable. Once again, I'll use the L option for long format, and then H for human readable. Instead of seeing it in blocks, I see it in kilobytes, or megabytes, or bytes. If I have and want to see, the ls-uppercase R allows us to recursively view or list files and directories. Switch to another directory, or actually, I'll display it from my current directory. Remember, you don't, do not have to move to that directory to display its contents. You can do so as long as you know the full path to the directory. So in this command, I'm asking ls to display recursively the contents of the www directory underneath the var directory, which resides underneath the root of the file system. And as you can see, when I type that, we see that there are directories such as icon, and in icons, there's a small directory with contents. And we can see that there is an icons directory, and it has con other contents, and it also has directories inside of it. And we can see that there are a couple of others, HTML, error, and so forth. Recursive shortcut is all a very convenient way to see the hierarchy of a particular directory structure. Press Control L, and I will CD into var. And now I'm going to use the ls-l with a capital S. The capital S will sort the files by size in this particular directory. And I'll add the human readable to it. Should make it a little bit clearer to understand. So here we have the largest size first, moving down through the different directories and files. So the ls command is a very convenient way to list contents in a directory or directory structure quickly.